Welcome to the PowerPoint basic video. This video here we are going to work on building an actual PowerPoint. So what I want to do is I'm going to start with a blank presentation rather than a theme like I showed you in the last video. So if you go into design you can choose any theme that you want. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and start typing here. I'm going to go into design ideas. So I, those themes are fine, but I feel like there could be a better design out there. I'm not really seeing it right now, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert a picture from my trip. So now it's generating ideas again. A lot of nice options. I like this one. Nice text. It's not taken away from the picture. Now we're going to go back to the home button here. So. You can still go in to design and pick a certain type of style that you want to go with. And I think I will go ahead and just go with blank. That way whenever I go to insert a new slide, I can still have all of my slide options. One thing that I want to go over is I've got title and content, but I also have title only. The difference between adding content from this box and adding an image is that content allows you to do much more from inside that box as well. So I can insert tables, pictures, online photos. I can do charts, uh, smart art, and if, even insert a video. Whereas on this one here, I have to actually manually go in and insert photos or anything from the insert tab. Whereas the content box, everything's already there for me. So I can go ahead and insert that. So if I were to go here, I'd have to manually insert inside of this one that photo and see if I were to let me show you the difference here as well if I were to go down here and insert that same photo that photo is contained inside that box and so it's not going to overlap the whole screen so sometimes it's better to go ahead and use the content box rather than just the title or a blank screen so just food for thought there so I'm gonna go ahead and continue adding but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two content here on the right hand side I'm actually going to go ahead and choose a picture PowerPoint automatically in these boxes puts in bullet points you don't have to use those or you can change what bullet points you want to use I'm gonna change bullet points okay so I've added some text there as you can tell the content box really helps contain what I'm putting inside of each slide. So just like mentioned in the last video, if I click new slide, it's gonna give me a double content box versus anything else that is in here because I'm currently using a two content box. So that's perfectly fine for this. We're going to insert this photo and I'm going to insert another photo. So I've got a couple of photos in there. If you see this here with a dashed line, you are selecting what's inside the box. And then if you click on that line, when it's a solid line, you are selecting the box and everything inside of it. So that, that's good to know for when you are editing. And now we are going to go down here and select a blank slide and we're gonna play around a little bit more. So we're going to insert another picture. So I've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a text box as well. And then I'm gonna insert a shape and another text box. So these are all pretty boring. Let's, uh, let's format and change things up here. So with the random photos, I want that one to be a little bit larger. Throw it up here. Now this slide is not gonna look the best. I'm just uh, doing this for educational purposes only. <laughs> it's not gonna look pretty, I promise. So I'm gonna change this one here to, let's do yellow, cause I'm gonna give it five stars. And then this one here, I want the fill to be yellow, but I want the outline to be black. Shape effects, I want it to glow with yellow. I'm gonna put my text to the side of it. And my text, it's, it's hard to see with the background. It blends in with the star too much. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna change, change it back to black. The cool thing is I can change the text by going into format. I can actually do word art styles. And I, I kinda of like this one, but I'm gonna to need to make the font a little bit bigger. So, those lines that you just saw pop up, it puts me at the bottom of the uh, container for the star, and it puts me my text right in the middle, in like center aligned with the star. Now this photo, we can go into format, we can a border on it. So as you can tell, there's a lot that you can do. You can even go into the box itself, the text box, and change like the uh, colors of it and the style of that as well. 
So there's a lot that you can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the background here. I'm just gonna go into right click on the slide and format background. And you'll see this pane over here. This helps me edit a lot of different stuff. Uh, you can do different colors and pictures, patterns, and so on. I'm gonna do just a, a gradient fill. I kind of like the light gray. It goes from light to dark as you go from top left to bottom right. I kind of like it. I'm gonna now apply it to all slides. And as you can tell on the left here, all my slides changed with that. And now I'm gonna click on this star here. When you have content, besides changing it under format at the top, you can always do it in the format pane on the right hand side. You can even change your transparency of your shapes. You can fill in with pictures and textures. So you can insert from clipboard or you can insert photos from files. So that picture is a little bit sideways, no big deal. We can always rotate this into a, a we're going to do something a little funky there. We're also going to do shape effects and let's do a 3D rotation on it. You can also change your text over here. So as you can tell, when I do a solid color, it changes the box itself. So what you're doing is editing the box there. So as you can tell, there's a lot of cool things that you can do. This slide here, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it because I don't want it. Uh, really, I just wanted to show you a little bit more about how editing goes. So right now, I'm just going to add in another photo, or another slide, another photo. Uh, I'm gonna crop this photo. And I'm just gonna lower the top here take out some of that extra space, hit enter. So we can do fun on the beach. We're gonna align it with the top of the text box. So I didn't have much text to put in there, but there it is. So next I'm gonna go into transitions. So for transitions, I'm not gonna do any transitions because I'm not actually presenting this. I I'm just going to uh, save it as a PNG. But if I were, I could go in here and do a bunch of different stuff like the push and then apply that to all, except for the very first one, I wanna to go to none. That way, whenever I present, it just pops up right there. And then all the others slide. And as I'm doing this, I'm just hitting the enter key to go to the next slide. Honestly, I'm thinking about redoing the background here. So I'm gonna format the background and I'm gonna choose a picture. We are actually going to insert from a file and I wanna do this picture here. And that's great, but it's almost overpowering. So I'm going to make it pretty transparent. There we go. And then I'm going to apply this to all. So that way, all of my slides, you can see a really pretty picture in the background, but it's not taken away from the current slide that we're trying to express information on. Once again, I have a blank slide. I wanna show a few more things, uh, such as inserting a table. Just like in all the others, you can do a lot of formatting here. If you have a specific theme, your table will go to that theme and you can change the transparency like I have here where you can still see the background. But if you don't want that style, you want it solid, you can change one that doesn't have any transparency and it's solid. So you're not taking away from any of that information. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a lot of just craziness going on with the slide. The purpose of this slide is to show you animations. I've added in the date and time down here I've added in a shape, a table, a photo, a text box, and a text box with bullet points. So when you go into your animations tab and you have something highlighted, you have a lot of options on what you want to do here with uh, your entrances, exits, and even emphasizing something. What we're going to do is we're going to have this fly in. As you can tell that flew in and we'll do this one. We'll have this one split. We'll do this one in a shape and then we're going to just leave the star and this here. Well, I will go ahead and color pulse the star for emphasis but that won't be an entrance. We will have the table do a float out for an exit. What you're going to see here in the advanced animation is animation pane. When I click on that I can see the order of everything in here. But maybe I want the, uh, this one to be number one, the animations to be number one, so I just click and drag, drag that up there. I want the text box to be number two. 
or I mean, I'm sorry, I want the text box to be number three, so I drag it down. So I've got animations, picture, bullet points, and then star, and then my table. So there's a lot of things that you can do here. You can do these in order. Uh, you can do, when you click this drop down, you can do start on click, start with previous, start after previous. You can even go into more advanced effects time and timing options. When you click on those, you have your effects, your timing, and text animation. And text animation, you can even go into pretty good detail on how each piece of the paragraph comes in. So we'll do this one. We'll start with, or we'll do, choose to start after previous, and we'll start after previous. We'll start with the previous on the star and the table. We'll do start after previous. So there's a lot going on here. As you can tell, the empty table is there, the date's there, and the star's there. So when I hit enter, the animations text box should come in, and then the picture, and then the bullet points. The star should pulse and then the table should go. So let's hit enter and see how it works. Animations, picture, bullet point, star, and there's the table, it's gone. So it worked just as I expected it to. Like I said, animations, if you do too many like we just did, it can be a little bit overbearing, but for the most part, they can be used relatively professionally and make the PowerPoint look good. So now you have the basics on creating a PowerPoint slide. And between these first two videos, you should be successful on making any PowerPoint for work or even for educational purposes. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll be happy to chat with you. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and watch the rest of this playlist.